the thing about uncertainty is that it causes our brains to work differently. Um, at the beginning of the pandemic, we it was you know high alert and everyone very concerned about getting sick and sheltering in place if that's what you had to do in your particular state or city. Um, but then as we go on, we're still living with you know, like when exactly do we get to get back to our life? When do the children get to go back to school? You know, we still don't know how things are going to roll out. So the thing, the reason why I want to bring that up is the brain on uncertainty works differently. Instead of sitting in the frontal lobe, the executive function of the brain. It's that's like, the it's like that's those like, commercials in the 80s, your brain's on, your brain on drugs, and it's like yeah, got yeah, the, yeah. Got the, frying, the, the frying egg. Is this, <laughs> I wonder if it's the same kind of thing. Very similar, exactly. Okay. The brain with certainty goes to its executive functions in the frontal lobe, right? So it's like, uh, this is what I must do today, and here are my plans, and this is where we're going to go on vacation, and this is when we're going to move, or whatever we're going to do. With uncertainty, it goes back in the amygdala to the survival brain. Now mm. it's like, I'm on hyper alert. What's going down? What's bad is happening? I'm, cast I'm catastrophizing. I'm obsessing. I'm ruminating. I'm having a hard time focusing. So if you think about that condition prolonged, right? It's almost nine months, ten months. It's a year. Yeah. For a year's time. It is very hard to then discipline our brains to go back into executive function and really plan and really focus. So I, this is a long introduction to focus, I think, is it still remains very challenging for a number of people. Yeah, you know, it's almost just, um, I think one of the statements you said in there that's so shocking, it didn't sound shocking when you said it, but to me it was shocking, was this idea that it's so hard for us to basically go into executive function. In other yeah. words, we, we're not going into executive function. People are not functioning with executive function right now. Not the way we used to, no. Which is probably why you see so many little things trigger people, and they just kind of fly off the handle. And they, That's right. And, and you'll see it either in social media or how they behave out in public or whatever happens to be. It's like, wow, that seems really a strong reaction for something pretty minor. But yeah, because we feel a little bit like trapped animals. You know, we don't know when we're going to be released back to constructing some form of a new normal. Okay. And so, so it's very hard to plan. That executive function is basically prioritizing, planning, laying out. You know, where are we headed. Okay. So, and I will say that people, I think we're getting, we're everyone's trying to get back to that. And it's not like it's not happening at all, but it's just, it's very challenging. So this is the million dollar, maybe billion dollar question. Okay. Yeah. So are, are you ready? Maybe even trillion dollar question. <laughs> what can we do to make that um, shift in our brains smoother? And what yeah. can we do to block out the stuff that is keeping us in that state of um, feeling trapped, fearful, you know, right. a little on edge. So what, what, what are some antidotes or prescriptions? 